excited. I'm interested. I want to know. Welcome to the world of Monster Hunter Wilds. Together, I shall be we will journey to the Forbidden Lands, uncharted territory that the. Oh yeah, this is the monster that we saw last time. Uh, one of the developers fighting actually. It looked very scary, and I'm very uh, very scared of that. A bit loud. Uh, we can lower the volume of the video. No problem. Guild has begun investigating. The Forbidden Lands were believed to be uninhabited until just a few years ago. I love that this is every single time the story of Monster Hunter. We thought there is nothing there, but there actually is. Or we found something new on this land. We must investigate. Let's kill tons of uh, creatures to investigate. <laughs> every second freaking time. Let's go. When a boy named Nata was found there and taken into guild protection. You shall journey to the Forbidden Lands, the back section of my NEPC story where older gen parts life are cut in. Yup. Nata was all alone after escaping an attack on his village by a mysterious monster. And the guild has assembled an expedition to investigate. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. Mm -hmm. Our objectives will be to investigate the monster, known as the White Wraith, and to rescue Nata's people, known as the Keepers. Hmm. The voice acting is very nice. The female has a very nice soft voice. I really like uh, the male's voice sounds very short, but it sounded fitting to the character, so that's also nice. Oh, who am I, you ask? My name is Alma. <laughs> oh, she she's our quest giver. Okay, okay, th th that sounds nice. That sounds nice. I like that. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I'll she's the hunter. The leader has a nice deep and rough voice. Yeah, I, I didn't know that uh, the handler is narrating this. This is very nice. Are you ready to step into a world of adventure? Let's go. Aw, it's cute. I like it. Hi, Smithy. Each expedition unit consists of a hunter, handler, Smithy, and Palico. And it'll be all here. Yes, Smithy, let's go. I'm okay. Everything is fine. We just, uh, yes. Hi, Smithy. Hands and paws on deck, with each unit carrying out their own vital roles for the guild. Hunter! As our unit's hunter, Ooh, you're sanctioned we to get air weapons Let's and go. hunt I monsters. Mean, this is not nice. This is a freaking sword. Nice. Two more story quests, so the monsters you just unlocked and one more after you to unlock the monster. Okay, perfect. No doggo? No, they don't have doggos here. They have uh, different creatures to, ri to, ri uh, to ride on. And as your handler, it's my responsibility to manage your quests, authorize hunts, and ensure that you have all the information you need. Mm -hmm. Gemma, Hi. our smithy, will take monster materials you provide and forge equipment for you. Oh my god! <laughs> oh boy. Perfect. We're fine, we're fine. And your palette. I think, I think, her animation will be one that I shall never skip. Also, is it first time Monster Hunter World has a female Smithy? Right had a male, and World has male. I wonder if uh, previous generations had female Smithies. So is your trusty companion there to lend support whenever needed? So cute. She will be extremely popular. Oh here. yes. I mentioned there's no no blah, blah, blah. potato no no stop stop I promise I'm I'm looking very respectfully though no. that's the clip I sent you in Discord oh no so much first that I believe you're in this is no <laughs> more than one there's unit. only one Smith we belong female? to okay. Avis unit and we'll have the honor of teaming up with the other units like Astrum unit to see our Ooh. mission through. They look very nice. I really, really like these uh, character designs. Each of these characters has such a different uh, personality going through the design immediately. I really love this. Uh, do -do resolution. Let's go freaking 2000 whatever. There you go. Now that I practically feel the heat. Listen, man. <laughs> The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition, mine included. This guy is so cool! 
Windward Plains, you say? Our initial foothold into the Forbidden Lands will be the Windward Plains. Due to mm. its ever-changing weather, the plains will put both the wealth and the wrath of nature on full display. Mm. During the fallow, ravenous carnivores battle for every scrap of food. There was a lot of comments on the clip saying they had watched it hundreds of times. I wonder why. I mean, it's a good animation. I couldn't, I couldn't find a different reason for it. Is healthy to enjoy a nice form? No argument there for me. Perfect. Uh, comparing to Rise in the World, it is very interesting uh, change. I also really like the idea of having weather because world has it. And I really love when in the world you go to ancient uh, forest and it starts raining. I think this is the only map that has it in world. And it's very, very nice. Every single time I'm so happy. It just makes me happy inside. I don't know why. So I'm very happy that they are expanding in, in, in the wild because I think it is a small touch that many people will appreciate. Scratch that. There's two female smithies, one in Sunbreak and other in Four Ultimate. Oh, I didn't know that. There was a female smithy in Four, uh, four Ultimate as well. Sunbreak. Okay, nice, nice to know. Nice to know. Glad and to a hear. phenomenon known as the Sand Tide conjures thunder and lightning. Oops. After the storm comes the plenty. A time of abundant life and fertility. With every oh, shift they in the have uh, freaking uh, seasons now. That's also very nice. In world, there is uh, also blizzard in uh, horror forest and acid rain in Rotten Vale. They don't do much. I didn't notice them too often. <clears throat> That's my issue. I didn't notice them too often in the world. The creatures of the plains change their behavior to adapt and survive. Mm -hmm. To succeed in our expedition, we'll have to be every bit as observant, versatile, and resourceful. Mm -hmm. Monster ecology, let's go! A rich, oh, diverse they're, they're freaking frog. Has a Oh no, the these are so plains. ugly. These are the same, very similar to ones of the world. I think in the Rotten Vale or in the ancient recess. I hate them. They are so icky. Unique climate. The Doshagama, for example, form packs centered around an alpha. Taking I on if... multiple large monsters at once is a recipe for disaster. Mm, yeah, I think I think they were saying during the stream that with this one, you know, your goal would be to separate the alpha from the other one so you can actually fight the alpha alone. Did you enjoy a fine sip of blood? Oh Based yeah. The alpha in a more ideal situation, it's wise to disperse the pack first. Yeah. So you want to find the sandy one. areas, you'll encounter Balahara. Their flexible bodies allow them to maneuver freely in and out of the sand. Mm -hmm. They're capable of creating quicksand traps. Yeah, that's, the, that's what I worry hunters. about, man, with the quicksand. Divide them, send worm monster. No! Because we needed it. Yeah. These look like they'd enjoy. Yeah, I'm, I'm just any worried about this that so much, man. Them. You may also encounter Chattacabra, toad-like monsters that bear the I love the freaking name of it, Chattacabra. It's... <laughs> I, thank you. Good name. These monsters apply sticky saliva to their forms and then fortify Eww. them with minerals. No, stop it, Captain! The Chattacabra's no sensible tongue, while crucial to its survival, is also its biggest weakness. Don't Eww. miss your chance to attack when the tongue is exposed. Eww. Is this sort of like a re prequel? Cut off the tongue and fry it? No! Nature has one rule. You're either the hunter or the hunted. That goes for monsters too, as they battle for supremacy. Oh no, I forgot about the new spider monster. Bleh. I hate it here. In the Windward Plains, one creature sits squarely at the top of the food chain. Right oh. down. Hello. Often spotted Look, during the onset scary, of the sand scary boy. Ray Dow has My adapted God. to the relentless lightning storms and is able to use this adaptation to discharge devastating attacks to any yeah, that threaten its territory. I'm gonna be scared of this if you are so called much, upon man. to face it, Hunter, I ask that you take extreme precaution. 
Oh, yeah, I don't want to hunt that one alone at all. Oh, endemic life, let's go! We have more! Oh, look at this cute little lizard! Oh my god, I want that little bite them and pet them. Oh, so cute! Look at this, While this out on hunts, cute. You might spot some small creatures at your feet or perched in the trees. Adorable. All of the endemic life you see has evolved to survive in this harsh environment. Ooh, I cannot help but to shrimp. be amazed by these creatures. I the sheer these will to survive, even in such an unforgiving environment. Ah yes, let me bring my own chair. Proceeds to sit in its own tail. Look at them cute. Keep them as pets. Yes, I want them as my pets. To make you fight it alone now that you have said it. Damn it! Baby Puke Puke? No. No baby Puke Puke for us. No baby Puke Puke for anyone. Let's talk about the expedition's base camp. This is the heart of operations, where you can do practically everything. Whether it's crafting weapons and armor, or resupplying provisions. <laughs> Look at this cat in the background freaking running with Definitely the hammer everything. around. Whether it's crafting weapons and armor. Look at this, the, the, the freaking cat in the background just turning around and hammering the air. Absolutely adorable. Or resupplying provisions. <laughs> One tool that's sure to come in handy out in the vast expanse of the plains is the pop-up camp. While limited in number, these provide a sort of home away from home while out in the field. The Kato's help set up a tent and now <sighs> you can sleep in it. Pop-up camps serve as fast travel waypoints. Can you read? I wonder if you can put a certain amount of pop-up camps, then if you decide to change the location because you decide, well, this location is not really good. It actually is, I don't know, too far away from whatever I need. I wonder if you can actually grab it back and put it somewhere else, wherever you need it. I hope so. I hope that this is the case. A place to change your equipment? Yeah. And an item restocking point. I'm still See confused by this UI. I'm gonna have to learn it. Of course, if a monster finds one of them, it might no! not last very long. My little tent! We'll need to think carefully where exactly we set them up. My little tent has been destroyed! In our travels, there's a chance we'll cross paths with the people of the Windward Plains. Mm. Oh, they take care of their creatures. Could That's be what nice. sustains us on our quest. This looks tasty. Stop it! You can't make An all food adventure so tasty. Awaits. With new monsters. Oh! <gasps> ba -ba -ba -ba! Wait, there was a new monster. Wait a second. An incredible adventure awaits. With this one. We did not saw that one before. <gasps> what is that thing? Oh my god! I can understand it because it looks similar to the MMO Monster Hunter Online. Oh, I see. This monster looks so weird, man. What is this? It has wings instead of eyes. Oh my god. This is an abomination. New monsters, new friendships, and all inspiring vistas. Oh, I don't think these cats are nice. <laughs> Look at this bird. It's so pretty. Grant us eyes. I almost forgot. Have you decided on a weapon yet? Wait, so we have a great sword, sword and shield, hammer, lance, switch axe, instant glaive, heavy bow gun, long sword, dual blades, hunting horn, gun, lance, charge blade, light bow gun. I don't think they added any new weapons, right? These are all the weapons that we already have. The standard 14 weapons. Okay, so there is no new weapons. That's that's. I remember that there were people speculating if there will be new weapons. I guess no. Every hunter's journey looks begins like right with now. weapon selection. Would you rather get in close and unleash with all your might? Yeah. Keep your distance and dish out a relentless assault. Deliver stinging blows as you stand your ground, or strike with a flurry of slicing attacks. Oh, this! 14. I oh, look at all of these character designs. They they look nice. I really like it. They can be so versatile in the armor still, because our uh, some 
say, cousin, do you hear our prayers? My goodness, potato! Supposedly, there is going to be a personality test to tell you what weapon best fits your combat style. Interesting, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Weapon types are available, and at least one of them is the perfect fit for you. I love the girl if you're in not the sure what to dress. Pick, ask me. I can provide advice on which is the most suitable. Okay, so this is basically you talk with your handler, and handler lets you decide or help decide which one you would like. Okay. Bloodborne awaits. Listen, Hunter, listen, Potato, now I need the guy who read the book that you sent me, the audiobook on YouTube, to read me Warhammer books, please. And then I'm gonna be happy. That's all I need. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon type quiz for Mozart and the Wise. I don't know. I don't play Pokemon games. If mobility is your first priority, then this weapon might be a good match. Okay, so basically, what type of fighting style you have? Try this. Hunters can't just rely on weapons. Makes sense. You'll need to make use of items like shock traps and barrels. Oh, bombs. you can throw barrels now? <gasps> Let's go! This is a new thing. I don't think we could have done this previously. Oh, this is great. Nice. Not to mention Yeet. any endemic <laughs> life and geographical features that you come across. Oh no, it's up to the you froggy. to read the situation and use all you've got to take down your target. Oh, that's very useful. Okay. One thing's for sure. Hunting is hungry work. But your portable barbecue yes. you'll be able to prepare meals on the go. I still love this animation, man. I really do. It's great. Yes. Hadi seven nine seven nine seven nine. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to my comfy space. Happy Thursday. Hi hi. You can now throw the big barrel directly at the monster or kill your friends. Oh no no not the friend kill. Damn it. That includes meat. What? So tasty. Oh yes, yeah, so tasty, man. Your palico is a feline. I didn't ask how big the room is. I said I cast fireball. Oh no. New way for us to troll Tori. No, that's no good. That's not how it was supposed to be. I think I know what uh, I'm gonna do when I join Tori in this game. Oh no, we're, we're I'm already in trouble. That provides various types of support out in the field. Whether it's laying traps to hinder monsters. Noise. <laughs> Or healing you when you've taken a beating. Oh, they Heal still have the out. same way of healing. That's adorable. The two of you make a pretty good team. Aww, you can really so trust me to have your back. Oh no, it's so cute. Oh, that she's cooked literally. No, I'm cooked. Reminds me, be sure to keep an eye on your health gauge. Oh yeah, this one. It will start shaking to warn against any potentially life-threatening attacks. Yeah, I remember they were explaining this. There's no better this. way to traverse the Windward Plains than astride your sacred. Sacred? Whether okay, it's this a is target the name you're of trying to reach, or just a point on the map, your sacred will follow the scent and take you there. Oh, so they basically took the um, fireflies or whatever they are from World and kind of put it on the scent of the creature that you're now using as a traveling companion. That's nice. Everyone get the Bombardier skill to boost the damage of- oh my god. There must be a skill to prevent this, right? There must be a skill for that to help me! This is a mechanic in World 2, but 3 is an option. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. In World it was just guided. Okay, I see. Not only can you gather and use items on the go, you can even perform mounted attacks. Yeah, so that's, that's similar to the previous And if you find yourself in a tense time. situation, mm -hmm. you can call your sacred, and it will swiftly take you out of harm's way. Oh, that's useful. Whether you're hunting or just exploring, Aww, that extra mobility will prove cute. rather useful. I miss the doggles, but these are cute too. I take them. It's an upgraded version of the Palamute. Yeah, but, but, but Palamute was doggo. But I take these two. They're cute. They're, they're cute. I, I still like them. If you're struggling to face a monster alone, you'll be able to call for reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Very useful. Fire an SOS flare, and up to three hunters will race to your side to assist with the hunt. Yeah! We never gonna cross the 
four multiplayer formula. No more people who shall join the one lobby ever. <laughs> In multiplayer, you'll be connected online with a team of hunters from around the world. Yeah, I still wonder, because in the world you had the gathering hubs, which allowed you to have more people in the gathering hub and then just hop in the quest whenever you want it. I really wonder um, how they're gonna... Will they do this the same way that Rise did, which was you don't have gathering hub, only four people can be in the lobby at the same time. No more trolls shall appear at a single moment, of course. You can't have more if than you three. you are unable to fill the hunting party, the same way as work probably. I hope line. so. We'll see. Then NPC support hunters will come to your aid instead. And I really like the option of you don't feel like playing with other people, but you're struggling with a, a certain hunt and you need help. Here, he, he, here you have NPCs. You can just use them. You don't have to deal with other people if you don't want to. That's a, I always say it and I will always say it. I really love choice. I love when the game allows you to... Choose what you want to do and how you want to play it. Not every single person wants to play on online at the certain uh, points. Maybe they just don't feel like it. Maybe their internet is very weak and they just prefer to have NPCs and that's a very nice option. If you don't have friends, you, de you these NPCs instead. Yeah! I'm not doing PC hunters uh, for solo and only play with those I care. Yeah, this is what I mean. Sometimes you just want to play alone. You don't necessarily want to uh, have people join you that are actual people. Choice is always good and I love it. Especially that I'm presuming their AI will be good. And harvest materials from them. Yay, materials. Use those materials. I love that they didn't change the animation of harvesting. Still pretty cool though. Materials to upgrade your weapons and armor. And get out there and join the quest with your hunter friends. Your brand new life as a hunter is about to begin in Monster Hunter Wilds. It looks very nice. I really like how this looks like. It, it really, really looks pretty right now. February 28th, 2025. Pre-order now. I don't think I can pre-order greetings hello uh Jacarus, welcome happy to see you how are you doing today it's pleasant to see you. i hope you are well yes i am well thank you so much happy to see you too literally there was a perfect moment where people were just chucking barrels at the monster of course they were did you expect anything else potato this is the other video that we have this one is only three minutes and this one is the fourth trailer so this is what we're watching right now let's watch this one Still hoping that I imagined the whole thing. It's burned into my mind. Mm -hmm. A scary, scary big monster. So, Captain, what's your team been getting up to? The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition, mine included. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this forest is amazing. Oh no, it's so pretty, man! Monster Hunter is collabing with uh, Transformers. If you want to buy Raffles Prime bot, now is the chance. Can I get that, please? I I would like a Raffles Prime bot, please. I don't care for um, Transformers too much, but I do care about Raffles Prime bot. Can I get that? <laughs> Me want one, please. This forest is My fur isn't built for this kind of weather. That's causing the water currents to surge too. So this is when this one's Oh, it does have eyes. Okay, so this is territory. We're in trouble. This is fish. Guys, they did this again. They created yet another fish with freaking legs. I think we have to stop them. They're making fish to power so full. They can't do this. How am I gonna call this one? We already have a fish. Gosh darn it. More fish. Okay, this will be more fish in that case. Gosh darn it. Also, 
Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when the fish jumps up and it, it is loud. Okay, let me lower the volume. When the fish jumps up and uh, drops down, you can see the wave of a water coming towards you. You can see the effect of the fact that this huge fish just jumped down. And it's created an actual freaking wave that is chasing you. I love that. I love the environmental effects. The water physics are gorgeous here. Fishing! Let's go! 10 out of 10 game, we can fish. Ugh, this is a scary boy. And of course, throwing bottles. Let's go! Damn. You wish. Forest hours you respect. Okay, I respect you, cute, fluffy creatures, whatever you are. They're not cats. Oh no! Why don't they just we must help! Down? Because it's important to me. Oh, that's another new monster! There is another new monster, guys! Can't wait to surf off the water. Oh boy. Oh! That's a very interesting thing. This time it's the tail that creates the freaking fire effect. Okay. Leave this to me. This is a very interesting uh, monster. I wonder about this one. The skin of uh, Akhenaten. Oh. Hello. That's it. The white wraith. It's real. Oh, the white wraith. Oh boy. Oh boy. There. The flagship, the scary monster. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. Yeah. An extinct species. That's no good. Palikos getting voice lines? Yeah, they actually will be voiced this time. This is the first time they are voicing Palikos. You've got a weapon and you do nothing. This is, a, this is a scary boy. It's gonna Give be it to me. And, I'll... and you'll die trying. Yeah, you're, you're boy. You have to grow up to wield this weapon. White Rafe is the poster monster of this game main attraction. Yeah. <gasps> Look at these. Oh, these are cute. You can change it back to meowing if you don't like it. Oh, that's great. I really love, again, options! I love any option that, that you give me. If someone doesn't want the freaking voice acting, they can, can have Mia. Oh, that's great. Those are hated? Why? I really love that. Options. Options are all I want and all I need. The more they give, the happier I am. We don't have to babysit the child? I don't think so. I, I think it's gonna be more of... It's a character story. I don't think it's the uh, gameplay story, the gameplay character. So I don't think it's going to be an issue for us as a player. Something about the previous game having them. Ha, huh, okay. Okay, I see. I see every single person saying they're horrible. They're uh, absolutely disgusting. So that's something. The Scarlet Forest home to the tribe of Linyan called the Woodwoods. Oh, that's cute. Look forward to discovering their unique culture and how they have adapted to life in this ever-changing environment. They're actually really adorable. I really like their design. I just want to hug them. Just look at look at these cute little boys just having fun and being sometimes a bit intimidating or trying. I see the rage in the old school kutku. I see. These are very nice. I really like the idea of this is instead of the cat and world, I'm presuming. There's a version of it in the post game of Iceborne. I see. Okay, this is, this is, this is, this is. Okay, let's watch this. Oh, wait, I did it. Is it muted by any chance? Perfection. Well, it was kind of muted. Duh! Perfection. I. Uh, oh, boy. Perfection indeed. I forgot that space doesn't work on Twitter because of I would it. Goofy little goobers, I'd make a deal with them to protect the forest. I would make a deal with them too. 
Uh, your smithy Gamma is ready to take your monster materials and forge all of your hunting equipment needs. Oh yes, I, I'm certain she is... She do be perfect! <laughs> she do be perfect indeed, I agree on that one. I agree that she is perfect for sure. <laughs> 